G'day, g'day, and welcome to this tutorial on creating a screen transition framework in Godot. Just like this. Let's start by taking a look at what we'll create. Here we have a Godot project which starts with a blank screen and transitions into a basic menu. We can then press a button to transition back to the game, and another to transition back to the menu. These transitions use a silhouette image to create a nice effect. At the top level we have a main scene for coordinating the transitions between actual game and menu scenes in the project. Inside this is a canvas layer node which performs the effect. We'll be using signals to initiate the start of the scene transition. I've used the global event bus pattern which I've seen many other Godot developers using. The main script will listen for scene change requested events and trigger the transition when it occurs. The game and menu scenes simply emit this signal and include a pass to the scene they want to load. Back in the main scene, when a transition is requested, we first check that no transition is currently running so as not to interrupt it. We then check if there is a current active scene. If there is, we need to transition out, then free the existing scene. At this point we can load the next scene, adding it to the main scene hierarchy and then perform a transition in. Now let's take a look at the screen transition node. This is where the effect is generated using a shader and input image. Create a silhouette image in your favourite graphics program. I used my Spork Tank logo in this example, coloured the middle white and filled the rest with black. The Colour Rect Material shader has a property called Amount. This controls how much of the transition has been completed, 0 being not started and 1 being completed. Let's look at the shader code. We can see Amount is passed in as a uniform float. When amount is 0, we set the output alpha to 0, which effectively does nothing. If it is 1, we set the output to black with full alpha. This is an explicit choice for this project, and you may prefer to change the colour for yours. For all other values, we interpolate between a very small and very large scale of the input image, centred at the middle of the screen. See the comments for more details on this. We also play a little sound effect when transitioning in or out, for that added bit of polish. And that's it! Let's see it in action. Full source code is available on GitHub, link is in the description. So where to from here? You could port this to Godot 4, you could modify the shader for different effects, or you could get started on a new Game Jam game from this base project. Speaking of game jams, the footage from the beginning of the video is from my Godot Wild Jam entry for December 2022. If you'd like to play it, there's a link in the description. Special thanks to Kadoink who recently posted a video on a similar topic and has been a great supporter. Check out their channel in the description. That's all I've got. See you later. Thanks for coming. Have a good one.